If you manage to earn $1 per second, it would take you approximately 11 and a half days to achieve a million dollars. But it would take you over 31 and a half years to produce a billion dollars. You see, it's comforting to think of wealth in definitions of rich or poor. But there are undoubtedly five different stages of rich and things change dramatically at each level. The distinction between what a millionaire and a billionaire can accomplish is simply mind-boggling. In this video, we look at what life is like at all of these economic levels, as well as how the ultra-rich spend their own money and even some of their most strange and ostentatious purchases. However, as you observe, you will notice that one of the most significant changes that occur at each wealth level is a shift in perspective, because price levels feel relative to your earnings. So, if you start comparing someone getting paid $40,000 a year to someone earning $400 million per year, the difference is 10,000 times greater. That is to say, to them, spending $300,000 on a Lamborghini is comparable to paying $30. A work of art worth $10 million? It would seem to be $1,000. A $50 million Hampton estate? It appears to be $5,000. So while these purchases would seem significant to us, to a billionaire, it's not even something they might consider. And of course, when you're that rich and powerful, you can buy more than just products and experiences. But we'll get there. Let's start off with the first level of rich, the top 1%. Even though this statement is comparable to being incredibly rich, if your annual income exceeds $200,000, you are essentially in the top 1% of global earners, and thus being in the upper 1% may not help you feel as wealthy as you believe. Because while you can usually afford a proper house and car, they come with increased costs, so you probably wouldn't feel very economically solvent, and you're probably still working a full-time job. Because the more fortune you have, the more assets you have, and you're more presumably not generating your money from a wage. Wealth is assessed in net worth rather than income above this level. So the next level of rich is a net worth of $10 million to $30 million. Your requirements are met at this stage. You will be able to live very conveniently. You have a beautiful home. You frequently fly first class on transatlantic flights. You could book a $2,000 suite for a special occasion. You can avail any healthcare you require, and no financial catastrophe can ruin your life. However, you are not rich in the sense that money doesn't really make a difference to you. You must still be prudent and cautious when making major decisions, and you're still not considered ultra-high total worth in the banking world. That brings us to the next level. Net worth of $30 million to $100 million. At this moment, you are in the big leagues, and you almost certainly run or have a majority stake in a very large corporation. You always reside in 5-star hotels and your residential properties all over the world where you can stay. You take vacations during peak seasons such as going to Monaco for the Grand Prix or Cannes for the film festival, and you won't blink an eye when your lodging costs $10 to $20,000 per night. You have support staff and are beginning to have people with whom others must communicate in order to reach you. You can simply purchase almost anything that ordinary people consider to be material rich, people able to purchase. You can have any car you desire, the most expensive jewelry, and so on. Instead of flying first class, you fly private. Although, instead of purchasing it explicitly and having to maintain it, you typically board the flight or own a private jet partially through a service like NetJets. However, your friendship group dramatically changes at this level. You most likely interact with congressmen, senators, and local leaders. You are most likely well-liked in some upper-class circles. Intriguingly, despite being surrounded by many other ultra-wealthy individuals, you could still believe you may not have enough. You may have just purchased a new Ferrari, but your buddy has a special edition model with only 5 produced. You may have just eaten with a local governor, but your billionaire companion just ate with the president. This leads us to the next level of wealth. Net worth of $100 million to $1 billion. To be at this tier, you most probably own or govern a company that most people are aware of, even if they haven't heard of you directly. You can probably make friends with Hollywood actors, rock stars, and the economic elite at this moment. 
you can go just about anywhere in style and comfort. You have a variety of houses with drivers from all over the world, each with its own luxurious automobile. If you enjoy it, you may have your own island. Of course, there's also a yacht to transport you there privately. You can have any experience you want. Do you want to play tennis with your favorite player? Send a message to his staff. You may probably play a match with him for $100,000 or more for his charity. Do you want your favorite band to perform at your private party? They will if the price is right. Have you ever considered the notion of art? The curator of the Lorv could show you around and show you some masterpieces that haven't been on display in years. You can almost always have an experience if you can imagine it. Donations and costs can take you to anyone. When you have hundreds of millions of dollars, it's much like going shopping. You can hire people to find you the most unique variants of items possible. Toilet Paper Man, based in Australia, sells 22 karat gold toilet paper for more than $1.3 million. And if you're going to drain money down the toilet, why not just get a gold toilet or a gold bathroom? If you're extremely wealthy, you might even have all of that gold. A 24 karat gold water bottle that is a work of designer art in and of itself, containing fresh water from France and Fiji, as well as Icelandic glacier water? How about the world's most valuable iPhone, which has a 24 karat gold casing studded with over 600 white and black diamonds and sapphire glass for the screen? This is not something that the general populace can afford, and acquiring one would cost around $15 million. At this point, this is not just about purchasing the most expensive and luxurious items. It's also about acquiring the rarest and most exclusive items possible. You could get a $160,000 special edition pen with 4,810 diamonds inside that is only made 8 times a year. If you want to even go bigger, many billionaires invest in art, not just rare paintings but also works like Damon Hirst's Dead Shark art piece, which sold for $12 million. Or perhaps you enjoy playing the piano. Here's the same crystal piano that was used for the Olympic Games in Beijing. A secret bidder paid a record 3.22 million US dollars for it at auction. The only limitation to what is accessible is in your mind. Our final level is 1 billion net worth and above. Before we get into what you could do as a billionaire, which is pretty insane, it's important to note that the percentage of billionaires on Forbes annual rich list has risen dramatically in recent years, with around 2,755 known billionaires. Of course, it's feasible that there are others with generational wealth who simply do a good job of remaining super secretive. In any case, Forbes estimates that these 2,755 billionaires are worth a total of $13.1 trillion, making them wealthier than the world's poorest 5 billion people applied in combination. In fact, Oxfam claims that the world's top 26 billionaires collectively own more money than the poorest half of the population. These statistics are immense but let's visualize them to put them into context. The distinction between a billion and the kind of wealth that Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk have is enormous. I'm a big fan of James Janney's YouTube channel and he did an excellent job of visualizing the disparity all these large sums of money in a different manner. So now that we've established the magnitude of a billion dollars, let's focus on what you can do with it. Because you can effectively buy anything, and by anything, I mean anything. We're not just talking about expensive items and perspective anymore. First, you can buy access. You can request that your personnel request nearly anyone on the planet and receive a response back. It's amazing how much access and regard a billion can get you, in which you can ask your people to contact someone within an hour and they'd be able to do it. Not only famous people are affected. It works much the same way for influential politicians in this country, especially if the billionaire is a donor to their political organization. As a result, if you're a billionaire, you may regularly meet and converse with the head of states. This brings us to the second thing a billion dollars can buy, influence. As a billionaire, you have numerous options for shaping public policy and public discourse. This isn't always done maliciously, such as a lobbying for lower taxes for wealthy, although that obviously doesn't happen. However, because of your money and status, you have the ability to make a significant difference in the world, and not just on a governmental level. 
Impact can also be purchased through charitable work and donation. Your money has the potential to change the lives of thousands of people. The question is, how will it be distributed? Villages with safe drinking water? Funding for new hospitals? Attempt to save a threatened animal species? You can influence almost whatever you want with the money. However, one of the most significant differences between billionaires that are usually ignored is their ability to basically buy time. We absolutely do not need to wait for anything, no lines, no sitting around. Just think about it. You have your own personal jet, so you simply board the plane whenever you want. Sit in the plane and moments later you're in the sky, free to go wherever you want. When you get there, a driver will be waiting to pick you up and transport you to your destination. Your assistant will have already reserved the best table at the restaurant where you discussed wanting to eat. Or perhaps your aide arranges for an executive chef to visit one of your summer homes at your leisure. However, believe it or not, there are some drawbacks to being so wealthy. To begin with, basic emotional connections are nearly difficult to maintain at this level. It can be challenging to have friends and family who accept you for who you are. They exist but it's difficult to tell which ones they are. Because your world is probably full of yes men and people seeking to take advantage of every opportunity. Your faith in relationships with others have unquestionably suffered. Romantic relationships become an unusual experience as well. On the one hand, many of the most beautiful and smart women in the world are all over you at parties and events. But discovering someone with whom you have a legitimate intimate attachment is a different thing altogether. Particularly, since your time is so important that you are constantly busy and therefore unable to engage in strong links with new people. Even if you do discover someone, the interpersonal balance is distorted in an unusual way when you have basically unlimited money. Whether you pay for everything or your partner makes their own money, things feel off in either case. Ultimately and most importantly, no amount of money can provide you with everything. Death is the great balancer. Losing family members, losing your own well-being, and facing your own morbidity are issues that not quantity of funds can fix. The Reddit user who influenced this video and earned full credit discusses how he met Sylvester Stallone at a party, who has evidently had a great career. He described himself as a great guy with a lot of wealth and status, as well as a smart and beautiful wife. He also had a special needs son who died when he was young. Nobody has it all, he says. Nobody. In fact, if you're watching the clip and feeling depressed, I think you should reconsider because we've searched at several levels of wealth in this video, but the fact that you're watching means you're nowhere near the bottom of the overall wealth hierarchy. It's easy to look up and feel upset that some individuals have so much more than all of us, but take a moment to look down the money pyramid. If you do have internet connectivity to view this, as well as food available in the fridge, outfits on your back, a ceiling over your head and a bed to rest, you are wealthier than 75% of the world's population. In fact, even if you only have one dollar right now, you are richer than the rest of the population who are now in debt or have nothing. What this YouTube video really emphasizes is how ambiguous the distinction between rich and poor is. There are many levels, not just two groups. And in comparison to the majority of the world, you may be much wealthier than you realize. If you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe to Ultimate Luxury. Like, comment, and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on upcoming future videos. See you again soon!